Here at the FEA, we'd like to give you a helping hand in bringing your commercial cooking facility or restaurant back to life. There are a number of things that you can do to get your establishment up and running if it has been closed for a prolonged period of time. However, before beginning, we'd like to make it clear that if you are in any doubt about your equipment and what to do, then please seek the assistance of a qualified engineer, and for that, we'd recommend the services of an FEA-accredited service provider. A full list of all FEA-accredited service providers can be found by heading to fea.org.uk and searching for Equipment Servicing. Here you will find all FEA-accredited service providers. Safety is paramount, so remember, if you are planning to carry out these following steps yourself, we would always recommend wearing suitable clothing appropriate to the task. For this walkthrough, we are going to give you an overview of how to restart common components of a commercial kitchen. An in-depth detailed guide can be found on fea.org.uk. To begin, it is advisable to start by cleaning and sanitizing all equipment, surfaces, walls and floors thoroughly, and when doing so, make sure the cleaners and sanitizers you use are suitable for the surfaces you are cleaning. With all appliances, including cupboards and storage areas, check for any presence of dust, insects or pests and act accordingly. Remove any results of pest control measures that you may have in place. If you are unsure about any appliance's operational status, be sure to get it serviced. Similarly, if anything doesn't feel right, for example a button that won't push, then don't force it. Call an engineer. As much as possible, check everything is in good order by conducting a thorough visual check before switching on. Treat equipment as if it was new and follow the user manual. Run through the startup procedure, do a dry run, then start it up and run the machine. It's worth noting that most manufacturers will have instructions and advice online. If the answer isn't there, give them a call. For gas and electric equipment, we would always recommend seeking the advice of a trained engineer. However, when assessing gas equipment, check the appliance as well as the ventilation and interlock systems. For electric appliances, again, if they are not working and you have checked the supply is switched on, then call an engineer. For any appliance using water, beverage systems, etc., run water through the system to flush out any standing water and thoroughly clean the system before use. In order to avoid the risk of Legionella, any equipment using water should be flushed through two to three times per week during shutdown. If this has not been done, the equipment should be checked and tested by appropriate, qualified personnel. For more information, visit hse.gov.uk forward slash legionnaires. Wear washers will require a run-through on empty. Fridges, freezers and refrigeration equipment, once cleaned, will need to be turned on and checked that the correct temperature has been reached before loading. Tableware and light equipment, where possible and safe to do so, dismantle and give appliances and utensils a thorough clean. Grease management systems, recommission according to the manufacturer's instructions. With external grease traps, if they were not emptied previous to enclosure, then acquire the support of a contractor to empty them. Fill up biodosing systems. Waste management systems, such as food waste digesters, should be recommissioned according to manufacturer's instructions. We hope that our recommissioning guide has given you enough of an insight into how to restart your kitchen. Should you require any further detail, we have a full guide available on fea.org.uk under the Information tab. And for assistance you can trust, we recommend using an FEA-accredited service provider.